Hey, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another Psych2Go video. When you hear the word psychopath, what comes to mind? Most people would think of serial killers or famous Hollywood characters such as Hannibal Lecter and Norman Bates. The truth is, they make up about 1% of the population as per live science, and they aren't always serial killers. Psychopathy is not an official diagnosis, but refers to a combination of behavioral traits, including antisocial behavior, callousness, and low levels of empathy and interpersonal emotions. Did you know there are some common phrases which are dead giveaways? Author Jackson McKenzie, who has written a book about dealing with psychopaths, points out specific behaviors that can class someone as a psychopath. Some of these behaviors manifest as telltale phrases, which may sound normal, but are really red flags that you're dealing with a psychopath. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. Number one, you misunderstood me. You must have heard me wrong or I never said that, you misheard me. Hearing these phrases, does it make you question yourself? Bingo. This is exactly what psychopaths excel at. Gaslighting is a tactic generally used to make victims question their own sanity at the hands of the perpetrator. It's an indicator that the person is using tactics that indicate psychopathic behavior. Psychopaths will purposefully aggravate you and then accuse you of getting the incorrect information. Mackenzie states, this is called gaslighting, blatantly doing or saying something and then blaming the other party for misinterpreting it or denying that it even took place. Number two, you overanalyze things. Are you always blamed for overanalyzing things or reading into things too much? Psychopaths will often use accusations designed to foster guilt in a victim instead of accepting responsibility. Mackenzie writes, psychopaths aim to make you doubt your intuition by constantly planting hints to make you feel anxious and then blaming you for having that anxiety. Whenever you find a reason to question the things which a psychopath says or does, they evade accountability by trivializing your concern as overthinking. Number three, you're crazy, jealous, in love with me. According to Mackenzie, psychopaths manufacture emotions in others. People with psychopathic traits will push you to your breaking point, but then call you too sensitive once you actually do break. They never take responsibility for causing it, rather make it seem like it's your fault. And number five, I hate drama. Psychopaths thrive on drama. Mackenzie wrote, you'll soon come to discover there's more drama surrounding them than anyone you've ever known. Psychopaths will deliberately make statements claiming they hate drama in order to make it clear they don't condone in negative behavior. In short, people who are genuinely drama-free don't have much occasion to talk about the subject. And when they do, they'll direct the conversation to solutions, not patently false declarations. While psychopaths seize every opportunity to tell you how much they hate drama, all the while leaving drama in their wake. We hope we're able to give you insight into how some phrases reflect psychopathic tendencies. How many did you know about? Leave a comment down below about your encounters with them if you'd like. Please feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there clueless about these phrases. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.